Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Uptown and on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to design and play your own custom zombies maps. Now, uh, first thing you want to do is download the mod tools. These are going to be the tools that's going to let you design and compile uh, any kind of map that you're making, whether it's a multiplayer map, zombies map. You know, uh, it's, I'm going to have the link down in the description. You know, once you have that already downloaded, it's going to look like this. It's going to be World at War mod tools part one all the way to six. Now these are going to be the six parts you're going to be installing into the roof folder of your Call of Duty World at War. All right, so uh, once you already have it downloaded, you know, navigate to your roof folder. Mine is going to be under local disk C, program files x86. Me, I have uh, the Steam version, so I'm going to be going over to Steam, Steam apps, common, and Call of Duty World at War. Now, this is the root folder for the game. So this is where we're going to be installing the files. Now, of course, you're going to click on part one. You're going to need WinRare in order to extract these files. If you don't have the program, I'll leave the, the link down in the description. You know, once you open up part one, it's going to look like this. You're going to highlight everything except for the two dots on the top and you're going to drag it over to the root folder. Now, be careful not to drag it over a folder because it might put it in the wrong spot. You want to put it in the first folder, you know, the main folder. So you're going to drag and let it go. Me, I'm not going to do that because I already have it installed. I'm just basically giving you guys a little rundown. So you're going to do that for all six parts. You know, once you drag it in, it's going to put the files there. Depending on your computer, it'll also do like a second trial where it's actually installing the files so let it finish completely and then close it and then start off with the next part once you're all done with the six parts you know get out of that of course you're gonna be presented with the root folder now first thing you want to do is go over to bin now you're gonna have two programs that we're gonna be using which is COD world at war radiant that's gonna be what uh, the program we're gonna be using to design our maps and Launcher is going to be the second program that's going to use what well, we're going to be using to compile our maps. So uh, first thing you want to do is right click and then, you know, highlight it, go to properties, go to compatibility and click on run as, as administrator, click apply, press OK, do the same thing for Launcher, right click, go to properties, compatibility, run as administrator apply okay now that we did that to both these programs we're going to put them on our um, taskbar or else if you would prefer we could also put it in the start menu and it'll show up over here me i'm using windows 10. all right so uh you're going to you're going to want to right click either pin to start or pin to taskbar me i prefer the taskbar it's a little bit more accessible so as for myself i already did that I have them right over here you know once you have those programs right there you know we're going to open up launcher now first thing you want to do before you do anything you want to convert the files that you have you're only going to do this once once you do it the first time you don't have to do it again just click the converter it's going to run through all of these steps and it's going to finish and then it'll stop you know, it's depending on your computer, it'll probably take a few minutes. Just let it finish. Okay, now that we're done with the uh, converter, let's click on Radiant. Either you can click on this icon over here or the one we, that we put on the taskbar. So we're going to click on one of them. Let's click on that one since it's already there. And here we go. Now, at first, it's going to seem a little overwhelming. You know, don't stress it. I'm going to go over it everything and uh it's pretty easy so uh if you've never tried mapping before uh you know this is your lucky day i'm gonna go all out for you guys all right now this is the first window this is the 2d view you know this is where you're gonna be um drawing out brushes and adding models and this is the 3d window this is the camera that's going to show you what's on this one on the 2d view over here is where your textures are going to be if if you're a mapper and you're just checking out the video, you're probably noticing that 
you've never seen this before. This is actually a, a similar to like a surface inspector or a manipulator tool that helps me rotate and shift shift the images and um, textures. So uh, that way you can adjust them a little bit better. If you don't have this, I'll show you later on how to do that. Now, the first thing we want to do, white background, you know, because I kind of find it a little difficult to see everything. Once you start putting things into your map, it's it's a little pain in the ass. You know, it's, it's really hard to see. So uh, first thing you want to do is go over to MISC, go over to color, go over to themes, and I prefer to use the gray theme. Click on that and bow. There you go, baby. Nice and gray. Oh, that's sexy. All right, cool. Let's keep going. Now, before we start drawing out brushes, go over to textures. Now, this is where all your textures are. So you're gonna either you can click on show all. It'll show you all the textures right over here. Let me move it up so you guys can see it a little bit better. This will show you all the textures. Let's say if uh, you want to scroll between them, just click on the side, and then you can scroll up and down. Look at all the textures that you can use. Now, we're going to need a cock texture for the beginning of our brush making. So we're going to go over to Usage, Tools. And it's going to show you all the tools. And here we go. Now, this is the cock texture I was talking about. You know, we're going to click on that. And we're going to draw out a brush. That way, it'll come out with that texture in the beginning. So you're going to left click on the canvas. And then just uh, drag it out. Now, we can scroll back and look at it on the 3D window just to check it out. Now, if you want to move around in the 3D window, right click and on the mouse and then shift, uh, move the mouse forward and back, left and right. That's how you can basically move the camera angle. If you hold control and right click, you can go up and down. If you hold control and shift, you can turn the camera. And also right click. So we're going to leave it right there. And let's say you can also use the arrow keys to move forward, back, left, right. That's pretty cool. All right, now that we dragged out a brush, you know, it's, we can go back to textures, go to usage, go to all. It'll show us all the textures. And then, uh, we can start texturing this thing. Like let's say if I want to use, uh, look around, see wood. As long as the brush is selected already, you can change the color just by clicking on the texture. And there you go. Hit escape to get out. And there's our floor. Now, when making the, when making the floor or the ground, you know, if, if you want to select your brush, you can either do it on a 3D window or on the 2D window. Me, I tend to use either one. Depends on whichever the pointer is on. So uh, hold shift, left click. It'll select the brush. And if you look at the top over here, it says top in very small letters. Now, this is the top view. Now, on the 2D window, it has three views. It has top, side, and front. So this is the front. Hit control, uh, control tab. It'll go to the side. Control tab. It'll go to the top. It's, it rotates between these three views. So that's pretty cool. It makes it easy to map. All right. So uh, press escape. That's our brush. Now let's say uh, if you guys forget, because there's going to be a lot of stuff we're going to be running through. And uh, to avoid you from running back to videos on what buttons you should press or what, sh what you should do, just go over to help, click on that, go to command list, and there's a little list of the commands.
So this so just in case you guys forget a step that I mentioned, it's all right here. You know, it's a lot to take in, but uh, once you get used to it, you're gonna be zipping through this. You're not even gonna go back to my videos. Hopefully, to give me some love, but uh, you know, I just want to leave you guys on the right on the right foot. And um, you know, so far we're gonna go through baby steps, and then uh, it's, when you're off on your own, you're gonna be off and running. I'm gonna be playing your maps instead of you guys playing mine. All right, so uh, now that we have this texture right here. Let's say if you want to make a wall. Well, actually, let's put this texture down on the ground. So the blue line, you can put it anywhere. But I tend to like leaving the floor texture right under the blue. So when you're mapping or doing a bunch of stuff, you know where the floor begins. So I like to put it right under the blue. If you want to move the brush, just click it in the middle. And you can move it up and down with the mouse, left, right. You know, it's, I like to leave it right there. Let's say if you want to make it bigger, just click on the outside, drag it up, drag it down. Same thing for the bottom, same thing for the sides. Just left click and move it along at will. All right. Now, uh, let's build some walls. So of course, these are the grids. So right now I have it on grid four. Actually, it's on grid eight, which is basically the same thing. If you click on grid four, it'll add more boxes. So it'll shrink down the view. Click on four, add it more. Click on two, add it even more. You know, you can always zoom in, zoom out. Me, I like to leave it on four or, or eight. Let's leave it on eight. It's good to mount. So let's drag out a brush. There we go. Control tab, change the view. Now let's move it up from the floor. Just one up and drag it up. Now I find that two boxes are a great size for a room. You know, it's your character is not going to be too close to the ceiling. Is Once he jumps, he's not going to be bumping his head all over the place. So it's, that's actually, for me, a great height. So you can start building up on floors. So uh, there's that. If you want to copy the brush you just made, hit space spark. It'll copy it. Hold it in the middle. Drag it over. There you go. Now, if you're noticing, I'm leaving a little gap in the end. That's because I, when I make my textures or my brushes, I like the ends to match up. That way the textures aren't distorted or there isn't a, a little white fading. So if you're wondering, that's why I do that. And escape. There you go. Here's a room. Now let's say we don't want these textures on the walls. Now you can either hold shift and left click. It'll select the whole brush. Let's say if you want to select just the face, you hold control shift and left click. All right, so control shift, left click, and right now I'm selecting the out the interfaces. As you can see, the outer ones are not selected. So I can basically texture the inside. So right now I'm going to go over to textures. I'm going to put a texture on the inside. We're going to use interior wall. It's going to show us interior wall textures, interior trim, exterior wall, exterior trim. Ceiling, roof, ground, floor, road, doors, windows, furniture. You guys get the point. And uh, if you go over to locale, it's we're going to go through this later. These are decals, tools, case. You know, it's you're really going to be using usage and surface type. Surface type will be like glass, grass, ice, wood, water, snow plaster, paper, metal, you know, but for now we're going over to textures, usage, and we're going to click on interior wall. Metal, before, and then now I try to go over to all, it's not showing me all the textures, because it's under metal also, 
So you're going to want to make sure it's on all so it'll show you everything. All right. So textures, usage, all. Actually, no, textures, usage, interior wall. And these are all the interior wall textures. Pick whichever one you like, you know, while having it selected. And uh, let's pick this one. Press escape. And now we can drop in. Check it out. Remember, I'm holding control, right click, and moving the mouse in any direction I want. And there you go. There's a wall texture. Now, let's say you guys want to switch the texture. Just highlight it, change the texture. Now, I'm going to stop the video here. On the next one, we're going to be going into a little bit more detail. I don't want to overwhelm you guys. Just, you know, just get the mod tools installed and uh, go over to MISC, go over to colors, go to themes, go to whichever one you want. Try them all out. Me, I favor gray, like I said. And then once you guys have that installed and already ready to go, you know, click on my part two and uh, we'll get started with uh, designing a room. All right, guys. I'll see you next time.